Alice. Are you all right? I was feeling a little weak. I'm glad you're home. I called the doctor. No, no, I could have done that myself. Well, then what's the matter? I missed you. Douglas, I was scared for you. I rushed out on my friends because I, I was worried about you. Needed you. I'd like for you to read to me now. Let's pick up on Trollope, shall we? I believe we left off at the part where Mr. Trevelyan is writing to his wife. Dear Emily, I have learned beyond the shadow of a doubt that you have corresponded with Colonel Osborne since you've been at Nuncombe Putney and also that you have seen him there. This has been done in direct opposition to my expressed wishes and I feel myself compelled to tell you that such conduct is disgraceful to you and disgracing to me. I don't want to read this anymore. Just a little more, just a little more. Your voice is so soothing to me. I am quite at a loss to understand how you can reconcile yourself to so flagrant a disobedience of my instructions and so perverse a disregard to the opinion of the world at large. All right, Douglas, this is becoming an obsession now. You misunderstand. No, I don't. This is what you wanted. You told me so yourself. Then, is it so strange that I should want to know more about your gentleman? Oh, he's not my gentleman, all right? Oh, Christy, don't tell me he belongs to another woman. Christina! Christina! 